morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the St. Michael Spiritual Hour, where we believe in a positive spiritual attitude for positive spiritual attainment. This, this program is sponsored by St. Michael Spiritual Church, P.O. Box 578, Creek, Illinois, 60417. Go to Dr. Michael O. Chapman.com for more information or call us at 708 7 5208957087520895 uh we can always follow us on Vimeo you can follow us on uh YouTube YouTube yeah YouTube and Vimeo at Dr Michael O uh you can also uh make contributions to Zelle Cash App and what else am I missing Cash App PayPal Zelle Online, Dr. Michael O. Chapman.com, Michael O. PSA at gmail.com, 708-299-0621. The purpose of this program is to lift people up as we lift up the name of Jesus. We want to share positive energy and stories with you that help you think, meditate, and spiritually make it. This is your hour. Thank you for joining us wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We bless you right now. For those on the East Coast, we pray for you. God bless you. Those down in the, uh, the South, uh, in, in the South, in America, uh, around Texas, in the in the warm states. They used to be warm. <laughs> the warm state, Texas, Louisiana, uh, Georgia, uh, Mississippi. We bless you and send you nothing but love and positive energy. Those on the West Coast, California, we send you love as well. Down in Arizona, we send you love as well. So we spend we sp speak nothing but good for you on today and sending out nothing but love. We believe that the glass is half full. It is not half empty. All right, God bless and God keep you and strengthen you is my prayer. So we're excited about being here. I don't know about you, but we're excited about being alive today. We're excited about um, being uh, here with you to give you some encouragement on today. And that's my that's my message for you today, to be encouraged on today and to send you some um, some love. Sometimes the spirit gets heavy around you. Sometimes things get overwhelming, but I want you to be reminded today who your source is and, and and the source of all things is good to you for them that love god uh, there's no fear at all there's no fear no anxiety all things gonna work in your benefit all right so god bless and god keep and strengthen you on today we're gonna go to i got on my schedule we're gonna go to our i am's right we're going to say our high ends before we go any further. Then we're going to go into prayer. But thanks again for joining us on today. We appreciate you. And anything we can do for you, please email us or let us know. Good morning, Xavier. When you connect in, you'll know you are God. You are God, right? You had to come from what you are. Correct, Xavier. That's a hard pill to swallow for some people. But we got to get there. We have to get there. And, and bit by bit. We are going to get there, all right? There, so there's no fear at all. There's no fear at all, no anxiety to know that you control your destiny. You do. And how you think, and how you think uh, controls everything. And how you embrace the world, how, how you embrace the world, controls everything. So don't let anything control you. Don't let anything control you, all right? So you be blessed on today and bless somebody else because you have that kind of power and authority to do just that. Don't underestimate what God has given you. You are a part of the master. You are a part of the source. You are. So we want you to be that on today. And we're going to thank you, Xavier, for that. And we're going to um, go to our I am today, all right? So I am, and we say I am because we want to connect to the source. We want, we want to be one. We want to be one, all right? Not something that's outside of us, but something that's inside of us all the time, something that we're connected to, okay? I am great. I am beautiful. I am handsome, I am courageous, I am a miracle, I am a believer, I am sane, I am healed, I am intelligent, I am awesome, I am energy, I am spirit, I am fearless, I am productive, I am ready, I am confident, I am powerful. I am strong, I am free, I am successful, I am honest, I am loving, I am sympathetic, I am prayerful, 
I am that I am. I am, therefore, I think. Okay. Hello, Minister Betty Cook. God bless and God keep you on the East Coast. Thank you for joining us on this morning. We send you nothing but love as well. So God is uh, my life. My life is God. God is my life. That's being connected. That's connecting. We need you to connect with that, okay? Because this is a time where you need to move closer to your strength. All right, everything uh, happens for a reason. We know that. But this particular time in, in our lives, we want you to be close to the source. All right. And know who you are and where you come from and who who dwells in you. We're going to talk a little bit about that, about uh, dwelling with the master, dwelling with the master. What does that mean? So there are things that could, that when you get lost uh by listening to the things of the world, you get distracted by things happening in the world. Uh, things that are close to you, uh, things that you seem you seem you can't turn off, there's always uh, a place to go to get uh, to get uh, encouragement. And that's what we want to talk about a little bit about today. Don't really just let it go out your uh, mind. Be encouraged and 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 uh, take advantage of this time to spend with your family and to spend with yourself and to spend with the, with the master. Meditation awesome prayer awesome but go a little bit into meditation okay and then don't ignore the signs that god has for you so god blessing god keep and strengthen you is my prayer for you on today it is uh god bless you trisha bennett Steele. god bless the guy keep you it's my prayer for you and your family we're gonna go to where am i going now i feel like i'm a little con uh confused today but i'm not Men, got to stand up before I go to prayer. Men, good morning, Pastor Smith. Happy birthday to you. Good morning. Uh, so my prayer uh, is that men, you have to stand up, okay, because your children follow you. They do what you do. I can't say that enough. They do what you do. And one thing I know about children, sons, girls, they always want to satisfy their parents. No matter how mad they get upset, they get that things go wrong, they always want to satisfy their parents all right so you have to set an example uh for your children you do you have to stand up and say this is the way we're going to do things and if you don't then you you model somebody that you uh you model somebody that you are uh uh familiar with that you love okay that you love uh because you're going to do what you do and they're going to do what you do they're going to do what you do. So set some standards. Set your goals up high. God bless everybody who's graduating soon, who's in, in school. Don't you give up. If you are doing remote learning, keep going. Keep moving. Keep moving. Embrace it. All right. Embrace it. Don't let it control you. You control it. All right. Exercise. You must exercise. Before we go to uh, prayer, you must exercise. I can't say this enough. You have to get out, the, get off the couch, get off the back porch, get off the uh, front porch, get off the phone, put your music on and take a walk. If you buy a swimming pool, take a swim. If you uh part of the uh, YMCA, part of the park district, you have to go in and do some aerobics in the pool. You have to get moving, get that body going. It's not a time to sit down. It's not a time to sit down, all right? And then take your children with you. They, could, they need to exercise just as much. Play catch, start something good. Start something good, start an interaction that is good for you and for them, but you must exercise. I know I lost about 50 people when I said that, but I'm not gonna stop saying that because it's important that you do that. Keep your body moving, not sitting and uh then your body atrophy. That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to get that energy flowing. We want it to be better for you. Get it moving. All right. God bless and God keep you. Now, uh, I'm going to, we're going to go to prayer. Then we go to the prayer line. Is that how we do it? I'm talking to my, uh, my wife, my producer here. She's just nodding her head, but uh, we're going to go to prayer. So we're going to ask the great unseen healing force to remove all obstructions from my mind and body and to restore me to perfect health. I ask this in all sincerity and honesty, and I will do my part. I ask this great and seen healing force to help both present and absent ones who are in the need of help and to restore them the perfect health. I put my trust in the love and power of God. Father, we come to say thank you for allowing us to be here right now. Thank you for, for helping us when we need help. Thank you for being part of us. 
Thank you. We embrace you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for seeing, sending your son as an example of what we shall do. Thank you for uh, sending your angels to guide us when we think we know and you can send the Holy Ghost to help us and keep us on track. Father, bless those that are addicted right now or have an addiction right now. Father, we come up against that in the mighty name of Jesus. We encourage them to get help and seek help right now, Father. That they have that they have a mission. They have a purpose right now. Bless those that are thinking about taking their lives right now, Father. We say we come up against that right now. We encourage them. We send your angels right now, Father, to help them get through this right now, Father. Bless them right now. Bless those that need delivering. Bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. For those that need healing, we send the healing force to them right now. Wherever they're going through, we speak healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep them is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless and God keep you again. Strengthen you, the great I am. I am. I'm going to the our prayer list. If you like to be on our prayer list, uh seven zero eight seven five two zero eight nine five seven zero eight seven five two zero eight nine five. If you're feeling depressed today, if you're feeling kind of down, we're gonna dismiss that spirit. Don't let it come into your consciousness, don't let it come into your surroundings, don't let it take over your body and your thoughts. All right, you control that. Say, oh no, there's nothing like that. Uh, in my body, nothing like that in my mind, nothing like that in my surroundings, mm, nothing like that. Everything is great. It's better than good. It is great. Okay. And you look for things to be successful, look for things to be better. All God supplies all your needs. So why should you be fearful? All right. All right. Here we go. On our prayer list. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ruthie Bean, Chester in Texas. We send you a lot of love down in Texas. Glad you're doing okay. Uh, Brian Craig, God bless and God keep you. No fear for you. Owen, uh, God bless and God keep you. Quincy, uh, see everybody in Dixmore. I always say, did you have you talk to them? Everybody in Dixmore. Uh, God bless you, uh, Pastor Ken, uh, King Sandra King. God bless and God keep you and strengthen you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Mabel Chapman, Leona Chapman, uh, Cerise Macklin, Naomi, uh, and the baby mother, Neil. God bless and God keep you and strengthen you. Reverend Riley, Mrs. Riley, was it a birthday? Anniversary. Anniversary. Happy anniversary to you in the Church Center of Hope Ministries. Rudia, Nurse Morgan, Rudy is doing fine. God bless her. Up on her feet. God bless and God keep you. Uh, Minister Billy Brooks Austin and your family. Reverend Gray, God bless and God keep you and strengthen you with your family and your church. Um, Gloria Morris, Danny Norman and family. Emily and Jarrell, uh, Michelle Ewing, all the Michelles out there. God bless and God keep you and strengthen you is my prayer. Carol, uh, Minister Green, Prophet Green, Mother Green, Celicia Green had a birthday. God bless and God keep you and strengthen you is my prayer down in Cairo, Illinois. Zach Green at yahoo.com. If you head it south, go down there and tell him you need some prayer. You want a word and he will give you a word. Pastor Baker, Circle of Praise. God bless you in 92. 94 years old, still working for the master. See your Sims in Kansas City. Say God bless you and send you nothing but pray. Uh, uh, positive energy from Kansas City on today. He said, make sure you tell those Chicago people, we're not just Chicago, all over the world, that God is good uh, and, and walk in the light. Pete and Kankakee, all my Kankakee people, um, Miranda, uh, Pete, Alonzo, Cephas, and your entire family. I think you got to get a new mayor. God bless and God keep and strengthen you is my prayer for you. Uh, MJ and Giovanni and family, Aries Porter and family, God bless and God keep you. Pastor Joy for Judy and Ministry, Shirley Haythorn and Irma, God bless you and all those El Shaddai people. Uh, Aisha, and I don't mean it to be belittling, but the entire church is my prayer for you on today. All right. Uh, Reverend Lee, blessing God keep you. And of course, everybody on the line today, uh, Pastor King, T Tricia, Lucretia, Betty, uh, all of you guys, God bless and God keep you and strengthen you. Reverend Norris from 102.3 will lift you up on today. Uh, and uh, River Jordan, Pastor Gerald Scunden, and God bless your family to pass you up your mother and uh, Jay and 
RIT, God bless you and the passing of your mother too. We send you nothing but love. Harrison family, bless you. God bless and God keep everybody is my prayer. We send nothing but love to you. And let's see, um, Connie and your husband, we send you nothing but love to out in Orland. Bless and keep you and strengthen you is my prayer. If you'd like to be on our prayer line, 708-752-0895. 708-752-0895. How do I keep myself covered in a time like this? And uh, Shelly Green, God bless and God keep and strengthen you. I know you are uh, speaking on tomorrow morning. Please go to my Facebook page and, and get that information, Shirley Green. Bless you down in Cairo and your entire family. How do I keep myself uh, up during times like this where I get all this information that's probably not true? I can't believe everything I hear. So how do I get still and know what God has for me? And you have to be encouraged that you are not just, uh, um, you're not just going through this as pawns in a game, all right, you're mightier than that, all right, you are mightier than that, so in your prayer, in your, in your meditation, you should receive the encouragement from the master, so how do I do that, you have to let him in and be, a, so he could be a part of you, so we, we're encouraging you to embrace I embrace the Holy Ghost. I embrace Jesus. I embrace I embrace God. I want him to be a part of me. But then you have to open up your heart. You have to open up your mind. Things are not the same. You have to open up your heart, open up your mind that you're going through this trauma. You're going through this world right now. And prayer is needed. Lord, hi. good morning, Aries Porter. God bless and God keep you. You have to say, how can I get through this, Lord? What? Get, now, people are praying this. Lord, give me a sign. And that preacher's calling me. I don't know what to pray. I don't know how to do this. I don't know what to get through. But because you and the master are one, you have to get on the same page. It's like waiting for a package to arrive. And when the package doesn't arrive, I don't care if it's Amazon, UPS, or whatever it is, you get depressed because the package hasn't arrived. The package is with you. You are the package. God is with you. How do you know that? Because the Bible says it, it is. And a lot of other uh, books say it is. So everybody's wrong. No, everybody is not wrong. Everybody is right. You have to find your encouragement. I'm going to read for you the 91st Psalm. And it'll be like, well, Psalm is easy. No, it's not. You can read Psalm. No, it's not. Everybody knows Psalms. No, they don't. No, they don't. And I'm not, I'm not assuming that everybody knows where that is, how to read it, and what it means. Okay, because when you start doing that, then you assume that everybody knows where God is and everybody should know what's right and what's wrong. And the, the problem, the, uh, uh, the evidence is that everybody doesn't because people are still afraid. People are still uh, suffering. People are still thinking that they're going to hospital and they're not coming out. But if you won with the master, if you won with the master, does it matter? You're in the lion's den. You are. You're in the furnace. So you should think I'm coming out because the God I serve, the God I serve is a deliverer. He is not one that's going to burn me up. He's one that's going to deliver me out of this. So that's the thinking that I want you to have. The God I serve is with me. What have you done? And here's a question for you. What have you done that you should be burned? What have you done that you should go in and not come out? If you are doing something like that, you need to change what you're doing. Change how you live in. Change how you talking to people. Change how you are uh, inspiring people. Change how you are uh, hurting yourself. You need to change that and say, wait a minute. God's going to deliver me no matter what happens. No matter what happens. That's Romans. Can I go there now? Y'all change me up. Romans. Uh, the eighth chapter of Romans. I'm going back to the 91st Psalm, but hold on a minute. The eighth chapter of Romans says, and in the 28th verse. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. That's you. That's you. You've been called according to his purpose. And I look down my list right here and everybody on here is some kind of minister, some kind of uh, prophet, some kind of uh, 
working for the master. Repent, Aisha. That's right. If, you, if you're if you doing something that's not right, repent and get it right so that when things happen, you won't be... Uh, you won't be condemning yourself and you go in the hospital and say, you know what? I'm not coming out of here. When you say I'm not coming out, you won't come out because you, you're tying the, the source with the I am not. You should say I am coming out and all is well. What am I supposed to do in the hospital? I'm supposed to bless somebody in the hospital while I'm in here. All right. That's what I need to do. Things are going to be better for me because I want them to be better. But I demand that that's the way it happens. So in the ninth, the eighth chapter of Romans says, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him. And then say some, all things, all things who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined, he also called. So if you have any doubt, that's what it is. Yeah. Whose report, who's report you going to believe? So if you have any doubt, if you have any doubt, you need to go back. You need to go back and say, wait a minute. Why am I doubting myself? I think God made a mistake when he called me. Now, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think God made a mistake. He's not talking to me about going and repeat, uh, helping somebody. He, I know he's not talking to me. Yes, he, he already, he knows you. He is the creator. Don't separate yourself from the creator. Don't do it. You need to embrace it. All right. You need to embrace it. And those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. Now you're moving. Now you're moving up the ladder. You're moving up the ladder. So any doubt about what God does for you, I don't know what God you're serving in. We, we may we on two different levels here. We're on two different places. The God that comes sometime, the God that doesn't come sometime, the God that's outside of the God that's inside, the God that delivers everything and the God that doesn't deliver anything. There's no in-between. There's no in-between. He's not the Amazon delivery man. He comes. No, he comes. He's there already. You don't have to wait for him. He's there already. All right. What then shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? us. If God is for it, that's, every, that's your source. Who can be against, who can come up against the master? All right. Who can do that successfully? I'm not saying that they're going to they try, but who can be successful against the master? You have to be one with him. I'm telling you, you have to wait. Well, I get, I have to get myself together before I go to war. No, you are already together. You are already together. He's one with you already. He doesn't leave you. You leave him. Don't, all right? Embrace that. Embrace that. If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his son, his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? There is no in between. There is no uh, sometimes, maybe. No, it's all. That word is all in this uh, eighth chapter. All. Mm -hmm. If God who justifies, who is he that condemns? Christ Jesus, who died? More than that, who was raised to life? Is it is at is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us? Now, some people say, well, listen, I can't do this alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. And they are, you know, kids, a lot of kids. Well, I shouldn't say a lot of kids. Too. I say a lot of adults say, I don't need no help. <laughs> I don't need no help. But when things get rough, things get really rough. Guess when you don't know which way to go. You're in the dark. You need some light. Mm. He intercedes for you. You are not alone. So don't have him on your speed dial. Have him inside of you already. All right. You don't need that. So who shall we separate? Oh, this is the part I like. Okay, hold on a second, because I get excited about this. All right. I'm going down to the 35th verses. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? 
as it is written. Now, I'm reading from the NIV version. They, they kind of make it nice, but the, uh, the King James version doesn't come that way. For sake, we, for your sake, we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. So you think man cares about you? Uh, you better wake up. Man does not care about you. When you face, look, when you wake up, there are people plotting against you. You have to learn to be strong in the master. All right, whatever they do, it doesn't faze me because God is on my side. He is on my side. He's inside of me. He, he keeps me. There's nothing that they can do to me. All right. So, no, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us more than conquerors. Not just conquerors, but you're more than conquerors. How does that happen, Doc? Well, when you conquer something, when you get through it, when you come out of stuff that was messed up for you, more than conquer is that you have to tell the story. You have to tell your testimony of how God brought you through. It's not just making it through, but it's about, testi about testifying how he brought you through. How can I do that when we don't even have church anymore? Well, you better write somebody. You better text somebody. You better put it on Facebook. You better put it on YouTube. You better do something. Let your family know that you were doomed, destined, couldn't make it. They, they had plotted all against you. Things were not going the way they're supposed to go. But then God, when I went into meditation, when I went into prayer, God and I worked this thing out. He brought me through. That's more than conquer. Oh, well, you conquered that. Yeah, then you go in your room and nobody hears about that. You have to be a little bit more than that. You have to say, God did it. God did it. The God I served did it. How you do it, sister? Prayer. Embracing the master. Never letting him go. Always dwelling with him. Always staying with him. Never letting him out of my sight. Always keeping him First, what does that mean? Uh oh, when I want to drink, I can't drink. I want to meditate right now. When I want to have sex, I can't do that right now. I have to meditate. I have to pray. I have to read my scripture. That's putting him first. When uh, when things go wrong, you have to go pick somebody. Wait a minute. Before I go, I need to say I have to say my prayer. I have to get myself together. I need to pray. I need to put him first. May not be a time to go. Well, how about this party? You should go over here. Maybe I shouldn't go to that party because the atmosphere is probably not conducive of where I want to be with the master. Now you're putting God first. That's what you're doing. Okay, well, I can't do this. How come you can't do it? Everybody else is doing it because I'm not like everybody else. I'm not. God brought me through. He brought me through this. He brought me through this operation. He brought me through this. He had my son. He got my son in college. He got, he, uh, he did this. I didn't know how I was going to pay for it, but he did. He blessed me. He's keeping me. Oh, uh, when you start talking that now you testifying you're more than a conqueror. You're more than a conqueror. You are with the master. So what's that funny look on her face? Why is she glowing like that? How's every how is she living and everybody else is dying around her? How is it that how is it that you get out of an accident, no harm comes to you, but other people pass away? God has his hand on you because you have embraced him. Should you feel bad about that? No, you should be happy about that. You should be happy that you're more than conquerors. All right, let me finish this up. Okay, hold on. I don't know why I'm going so fast. Neither height, nor death, nor anything else in all creation in all creation, will be able to separate us, hey, I feel only going to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Don't let anything separate you in times like these. Don't let anything separate you from the master. Don't do it. Don't, well, I can't control it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I'm encouraging you right now. Yes, you can. I, well, I don't know. I want to do right. Then do right. Now, here's the thing. If it's something that you're not doing <coughs> that you want to do, you've already failed. You got to get back up and get yourself together. Say, you know, what? that's on my things to do list. And I got to do it. I got to do it. Well, I meant to call her, but I she just it just left my brain. No, I didn't get it back in your brain and call and encourage somebody. Well, I meant to pray for them because they I had a dream about them. Well, you got to dream about them again <clears throat> until you get it done. So there are things that you need to do in a time like this. 
in a time like this where everybody's falling out, numbers seem to be growing. People are dying as it seems, as it appears. But you know that God still has you. He has you. He has your family. He has your friends. People are still living, going in and coming out. What is wrong with you? Nothing. Get closer to the master. Get closer to your source. Encourage somebody. Pray for somebody. Sing them a song. Do what you have to do. Drop them a note. Spend some money. Be a giver, not a taker. Be a giver. Donate something that's unexpected just because God told you, just because I wanted to. You become the director of your destiny. You do. You have to live and want to live. It says <clears throat> all things, no matter what's going on, all things works for the good of you, those that love him. Everything. Everything. Not some, it says all things. So no matter what's going on in the world, it has no detriment to me. It doesn't because I'm with the master. I'm with the master. Okay, well, well, is that something? No, that's not an ego trip. That's not putting me above anybody else. What are you? You make your choices. Be who you want to be. Be who you want to be. Now you can't, you can't be double-minded. You can't be with God one day and not with him the other day. I mean, that's like I'm telling you, you waiting for him to show up at your door and bring your 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 uh, deliverance. Nah, uh-uh. You embraced it, and God will be there. He's always been there. So inside of me, help Jesus. Help. I need your help right now. I need it right now. And people are looking to you to see what you're going to do. Live it. You're right, Shirley Green. Live it. Live it. It's easy to go to the other side, but live it like you love God, like you and the God are the master. Live it so somebody can say, I want to be like her. I know God got his hands on her. Look at her aura. Look at the way she stands. Look at God kept her. I know her story. You know some of it, but you don't know all of it. You know the story. Yeah, he'll turn around in your favor, in your favor. I've seen it. I've seen it happen so many times that. Uh, it becomes elementary for the master. He'll turn it around. Why? Because he loves you and you love him. You are one with him. Stay that way. Stay that way. Don't let anybody come and mess up your your um, environment, your attitude, separate you from the love of God. That ain't nothing. That's old stuff. Old? Okay. That's old stuff. Ain't nobody believing in God today, really. Okay, don't let that talk separate you. Don't let it. Don't hear it. Just say, yeah, well, I'm praying for you that one day you'll experience the master, okay? And know that he can do things that seem impossible, seem impossible to some, but it's possible for you. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't keep putting it off, all right? Who's keeping your family? Who's keeping you? When you want to make a mistake, they say that the angels, they keep you. From making that mistake. How do you know the answers? The Holy Ghost is a teacher. He'll do that. Yes, he will. How do I? I don't, I don't know that. I, I didn't know that. But he, God has his hands on you for your purpose. For your purpose. All right. Don't let him down. Don't let yourself down. Don't punish yourself. Lift yourself up. All right. God blessing. I keep it out the 91st Psalm. I want to give you. You can read that on your own if you, if you did. All right. Okay, bless your sister, Minister Barbara Chapman, for listening. I didn't see you on my thing. God bless and God keep you, Arizona. Happy birthday what, to my wife. Oh, what does that say? Happy birthday to my wife. Had a birthday. God bless and God keep you and strength to you. Uh, Minister Chapman is my prayer. People getting older, but older in the master. All right, so God bless. I'm encouraging you today as you go through. You say, Lord, keep my family. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Lord, don't let heart, dirt, heart, harm or danger come to me. He'll do that too. Uh, Lord, see me through this. He's already done that. You are predestined for, for good things, for great things, for good things. Don't punish yourself and say, don't go back to what happened 5, 10, 20 years ago. No, uh-uh. Say right now, Lord, right now. You're working it out on my behalf right now. And I appreciate that. I'm going to come through victorious uh, in these next 40 days. I'm going to come to victorious. You start speaking. I'm going to come to victorious. Things going to go my way. 
because I'm one with the master. All right. God bless and God keep you and strengthen you. Thank you for listening to me. I don't want to bore you. On, I try not to stay on too long because some people, uh, their uh, uh, time span short. So God bless and God keep you and strengthen you. If you'd like to make a donation, I'm asking my uh, wife to put that on the uh, 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 message for you so that you can do that. Don't let anything separate you. Be forever blessed. Uh, God bless and God keep you. You're going to do a fantastic job. Uh, Minister uh, Mother Green on tomorrow. Profit out of those folks. Uh, they they need to hear a word. Aries Porter, God bless and God keep you and strengthen you is my prayer for those of you who are on the line. God bless and God keep you and strengthen you again. Uh, uh, all the pastors and the ministers, I'm encouraging you. I am, I am encouraging you right now. I'm going to put it in your lap. All right. So who am I going to speak to? Nobody listening. You just do the work. You just do the work. People will listen. It will get to who they need to get to. All right. It, and God's keeping you for that. Be a, be a part of him. Be on your mission. Be on your, do your purpose. All right. Do that. Do that. So somebody that, now here's the good thing about this. It's not people that you know, not just people that you know, but people that don't know you, uh, you can inspire. And you don't need to know who you're inspiring. Uh, that's ego. The fact of the matter is you're just doing it. You're doing it for the master. All right. So I'm encouraging. I'm going out to California right now in the spirit and encouraging Scott. What's his name? Cousin? Yeah. Yeah. Cousin Ed Scott. I'm encouraging you right now. Don't be discouraged. Uh, uh, don't be discouraged. Uh, be this millionaire that God wants you to be. God bless and God keep you, Shirley Green, the great I am. You're right. I'm encouraging your entire family. Boy, that's a whole story about that family. Um, what God is doing and what he can do. If you just obey him, he will do that. Aisha, God bless and God keep you. Don't you turn back. God bless everybody on the line today and tonight. And I'll see you. I will see you. I will see you next Wednesday at uh, midnight. God bless and God keep it and strengthen you is my prayer.